top of the morning to y'all. Catherine here, ready to set out on another adventure with my good friend, one of my besties, Julie. Good morning, everyone. Y'all know her. Good morning. We are here uh, getting ready to head out on the Cottonwood Pass Trail. That is just outside of Lone Pine in and near the Mount Whitney Range. We will be entering into the Golden Trout Wilderness, traversing over Cottonwood Pass, which um, Right now we're at a starting elevation of around over 10,000 feet. So the top of the pass will be over 11,000 feet. We'll uh, head down the pass and we'll be on the Pacific Crest Trail for a short bit. And we will be camping at Chicken Spring Lake. This is just an overnight trip. Unfortunately, we are experiencing a lot of smoke uh, from the Ferguson fire up in Yosemite. It was very bad down in the valley below and so bad that we... We actually thought about not coming up. Yeah, we thought about canceling the trip because we could not see the Sierra mountain range that we were right next to. Um, however, up here, it's a little bit clearer. We can see some blue sky back here. We have Yay. better visibility. Uh, we were told by the ranger it was better up here, so we decided to go for it. We're excited, just excited to be out here for a backpacking adventure and glad to bring you guys along with us. So let's go. of Horseshoe Meadows coming into view. And as you can see, there's some haze, but nothing like what it was down below. Well, we've only got about 0.7 miles, but this is what the trail's looking like. It's very sandy. So far, just a pleasant, easy hike, but we haven't we're just starting to ascend, you know, at a very gradual grade. We have not started up our switchbacks yet, but just enjoying it. We're really happy that we got to get out here and uh, do this, um, considering that we were thinking about canceling. How are you feeling back there, Jules? I gotta say, I'm a little winded. It's pretty pathetic. <laughs> yeah, the altitude's definitely getting me. I mean, we're only 1.76 miles into it, and I'm definitely winded. I mean, I can bike 26 miles, I can run a marathon, but this is just a whole different thing. The altitude puts a different spin on it. Yep. Trying to drink a lot of water and stay hydrated. Yep. Gone about two miles. It's time for a little snack break. My favorite Tex Mex. Uh, Trail mix. What do you got there, Dooley? Trail crack. <laughs> uh, which, which basically anything that has chocolate is trail crack as far as I'm concerned. Peanuts, M&M's, chocolate, and um, peanut butter chunks. And I just realized I com committed a major faux pas. <laughs> I forgot to get a Snickers bar. I have no chocolate. I have no chocolate. Hope you have some more M&M's in there for me. I got a few. The pass is somewhere back there. We are starting to ascend and definitely feeling the elevation. So we're having to stop quite a bit and take you know, some breaths and just uh, get the heart rate down a little bit. Yeah, soon we'll be uh, traversing the switchbacks and like I said, somewhere around a thousand feet. We're looking down on Horseshoe Meadow. That's where we came from. So we've come a ways. Still see some haze 
from the fire and the smoke. We're not really smelling it, which is good, unless we've just gotten used to it. But uh, we do have blue skies above us. So yeah, it's just not the most beautiful day, but it's good to be out here regardless. Well, Jules, what do you think of the hike so far? So far, so good. It's, um, I think I say this in every single video, the altitude just kicks my butt. I mean, it just, it really does. Um, like I'm super, I'm super impressed with you because you just like climb up and I consider myself in good shape, but it, it, it's tough, the altitude, but um, it's nice. It's nice that we got up above the smoke, which has been kind of nice. Um, seen some people around and oh, it's beautiful. Yeah. I've obviously been backpacking a lot more than you too, so it, uh, I've had a little bit of training, I guess you could say, but even in, you know, my, like for instance, my last trip, Glacier National Park, I think the highest pass or the pass that we went over Boulder Pass, I think that's under 8,000 feet. So we started this hike at 10, and then once we're at the top of the pass, like I said, we'll be over 11. So, I mean, that's nice don't, little... don't, keep, don't beat yourself up. Just, <laughs> I, you try not, I try not to. It just, it's interesting how uh, different sports and different activities can completely take it out of you in different ways. Yeah, so like it's, it's humbling. It's always humbling. Well, like I should, you know, we were talking about earlier, you know, she can kick my butt in running and uh, <laughs> cycling, so... I can't do what she does, so, you know, to each their own. Yeah, exactly. It's awesome. Thank you for coming. Always love it. Another good shot of Horseshoe Meadow. Be better without the haze, but... So tell me what's going on, Jules. My head hurts. My head feels like it's going to explode. Like I said, this is just super humbling. I'm really trying not to beat myself up about it, but um, yeah, the elevation's kicking my ass, to be really honest with you. So I'm just trying to take it easy and rest up, and I think we can see it up there, so I don't think we're too far. Yep, I think we're really close. So, yeah. You almost got this, girlfriend. Yeah. So. Proud of you. Thanks. Thanks for being patient with me. Absolutely. Really Absolutely. So I believe in the distance there, if you can make it out through the haze. That's a little bit of uh, the Great Western Divide, I believe, in the back. We made it to the top. You made it, Jules. <laughs> I made it. The whole time up, I was telling Catherine, I don't know how the family Von Trapp did what they did. So high five to them. I feel like the biggest wimp alive, but I feel accomplished nonetheless. So yay me. We made it to the top. So here is the juncture to where we actually head over to Chicken Spring Lake. Here we go. South, you will be um, on the, PC, the trail pass PCT South, and now we're actually um, we're going to take the Rock Creek PCT North. So we're going to go that a ways, and we will be on the PCT for a while. And if you didn't know, Chicken Spring Lake is a is a pretty popular spot for overnight camping for PCT through hikers. So I don't think we'll see any there right now because I think it's they have to be well past this point if they're going to make it to Canada. But you never know. Off we go. I was under the impression we were only going downhill after, but apparently not. But we are traversing through these beautiful foxtail pines. Really awesome looking. guys, Chicken Spring Lake right in front of us. We are here. Yes, this is gonna be home for the night. Looks like a nice spot to me. Here's a view of the lake. This is right in front of our camp. There are other campers nearby. We don't have the place to ourselves by any means. We think the salami and cheese. A little chilly.
enjoyed some snacks down by the water. I got in a little bit. <laughs> it was kind of chilly, very cold. Um, we were both thinking about taking a dip, but I don't think that's going to happen. It's just a little too cold. And with the wind, the wind gusts every once in a while, it'll probably be freezing our butts off. There's Jules' tent, the REI, quarter dome, two. My tent, Agnes Fly Creek UL2. Under this beautiful tree. Got camp all set up, laid and relaxed by the lake for a while, and now it's dinner time. I didn't put much thought into my meals. <laughs> <laughs> it was a very busy week before I got here, so I'm I'm lucky I got here, to be honest with you, so ramen it is. What do you have, Jewel? Wow, I don't know. Hang on. Um, ramen. I'm a hot mess this entire trip. I'm a hot mess. I think we're both kind of out of it. But, we're uh, both kind of out of it, but I don't know. It's better than being back home for a little bit. It's a nice change. Absolutely. chilly after that sun goes down, huh? I mean, if the sun goes down, it's get that shirt on. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, cool. tell me what you thought about today. Yeah, so I, listen, anytime, for me anyway, that you can put on the backpack and get up here, I think that's super cool. Yeah. It was a gorgeous day. Yeah, and for me, you know, this was a hike that I've never done before, and I was just kind of looking for options. Um, I had a really easy option. There weren't a lot of permits available. It's a height of backpacking season, so um, it was you know, between this one and a lake, Parker Lake, actually. I have a video uh, of a hike that I did um, in Parker Lake um, a couple months ago. And that hike is just so short and easy, but it, it does land you at a beautiful lake. So I wanted something a little more challenging. And I'm glad we actually chose something further south with the fire situation. But I think that this lake, you know, as I shared earlier, um, it's a stop for PCT hikers. And I think it's just that that's essentially what it is. It's just a pit stop. It's a pit stop, you know, so if you need to crash out here on your way to your destination, you know, that's the kind of place it is. It's not really a destination spot, but it is really pretty and, you know, I'd rather be here yeah, any sure. day than sitting at home in front of a TV. Yeah, so. for sure. Absolutely. It's beautiful. It is beautiful. Uh, so anyways, I think we're going to kind of probably call it a night right here. It's going to get chilly very quickly, yeah. I believe, after now the sun's gone down. Yes, but thanks for joining us today, and we will see you in the morning. Good night. Good night. Eleven eleven p.m. I know you guys can't see anything, but at ten p.m. The wind picked up something fierce. Here it comes. Yeah, it's pretty intense. Not sure we'll be getting much sleep tonight. Checking with you in the morning. Last night, all of the steaks came unstaked. Most of them, not all of them, but I had to get out of the tent. It was uh, about 10.30 or 10.45 and grab a bunch of rocks <laughs> to secure everything with from that gnarly wind. Good morning. Good morning. It's day two of this very quick overnight trip. It, it's a beautiful morning. It's a bluebird day. Doesn't really surprise me though because of that wind that came through. Oh my gosh. I think uh, <laughs> that probably blew a lot of the uh, smoke out of here. Yeah. What'd you think about the wind, Julie? It was absolutely insane. <laughs> I mean, it was super, super, it was just chill. I went to bed really early and then I don't know what time. She it kicked was. me out of her tent. We were watching a movie. I was, my head hurt so bad. And um, yeah, the wind just started kicking up and it just kept going and kept going and. Yeah, I, you know, one thing I found about up here in the Sierra is that generally you'll get a gust and then it, you have a little period of time with no wind and then another gust. Well, not last night. Last night it was constant. It went on, it went on probably for a good three, four hours. Yeah. 
and unfortunately we didn't really stake down that well because it's it's rock underneath us so we couldn't really dig our stakes in too deep um, so they were all coming you know being pulled out and my tent was completely upside down yeah so we just we had to get up and you know basically try to find whatever heavy boulders we could find and just kind of lay those on top and after that like my tent my tent actually was caving in on me yeah just caving in on me and so once we got up and got everything resecured I was good I mean it was still loud it took a long time to fall yeah. asleep you know it was actually a very nice trip I don't want to sound too negative but it's just um, there it's a popular spot so there were a lot of people here so unfortunately that uh, created a little bit of a problem <laughs> this morning <laughs> uh, there was not very many places to find for uh, there, there was no poop privacy at all <laughs> Whatsoever, and we had, we had to kind of trek back a ways and everything, but everybody here is in the same situation as we are, so whatever. Yeah. All right, we have camp packed up. We're ready to hit the trail. We have a little over five miles, although the information that I had said was under four miles, but we both calculated over five miles. Yeah, my Garmin tracked uh, 5.29. Yeah, but luckily it's all downhill today. <laughs> Which I'm stoked about. So off we go. Much clearer morning. I wanted to shoot this over again so you guys can see. I believe that's a great western divide. Uh, those tallest peaks back there. And big uh, Whitney Meadows is this way as well. We're at the top of the pass getting ready to head down the switchbacks again. But wow, what a difference a day makes. Again, much better views to the east. That is Horseshoe Meadow. We're heading down there. All right, we made it back to the car. Yes. <laughs> Feels good to have the pack off. It's a nice warm day, beautiful day. Thank you so much for joining me on another adventure. And, you know, I'm always stoked to hang out with Julie. <laughs> it's always a great time with her. So thanks for coming along. Thanks and for the invite. It's always good to get out of Dodge and uh, challenge myself. Absolutely. Thank you. Peace out. Bye. Bye.